It's time for Blacktober. Five nights of black horror for the modern audiences. From reviews that aren't plagiarized. From obscure blogs, just some guy in his parents' basement making vlogs. So smash that like button and let's begin. We start our journey with the Candyman. Not the original that you like, but the 2021 reboot. Uh, continuation. Yeah, that's right. Candyman from 2021 is the most racist movie I have seen since 1915's The Birth of a Nation. All right, just up front here, this is a conflicting movie to review. There is a story buried under 90 minute brow beating of white man bad, which is actually maybe 90% brilliant. Like there is a core story that this movie surprised me with. I was expecting a reboot. It's not a reboot. It's a sequel to the original 1992 Candyman. And it does an incredibly good job of weaving in those story elements, mixing it with urban legend and mythology in a setting that is updated. And I will give this praise to Jordan Peele. While understanding that the finished product is the responsibility of contributing writer and director Nia DaCosta. Without getting too deep into the spoilers for this one, we're continuing the intriguing urban legend of Candyman. A vengeful spirit who can be summoned if you say his name into a mirror five times, with his primary haunt being a Chicago housing project. Nice flourishes in storytelling, I appreciate rather than vague flashbacks we have shadow puppets, but that's really all the praise I can muster. The performances are absolute crap. You hardly buy that anybody has the job their character says they have. Protagonist is a painter who gets obsessed with Candyman, starts painting him in an attempt to cash in on white man bad. Oh, here Here's a guy that was tortured by white people because he liked a white girl. I can make money by painting this. And obviously his research opens a can of worms. But rather than talk more about the plot, I'd like to take this time to shine a spotlight on the concophony of tropes. Let's start with these stereotypical queens over here. Yeah, they'll play the role of the annoying gays. Here's an art dealer abusing his power to sleep with female interns. A paper thin art critic who says, you people. Oh, I mean artist, not uh, not you being a black person so much. I didn't really mean it like that, but you know what I'm saying. Lonely white librarian who is here for the jungle fever. Your Billie Eilish disassociated teenage white girl. And of course, absolutely every character spending the bulk of their time explaining to you how bad white people are. With no empirical evidence, just hearsay. How dare those white taxpayers provide affordable housing? Yep, totally the white guy's fault that the blacks are out there robbing and killing each other. Oh, but it's entirely justified because absolutely every police officer in Chicago is blatantly racist and looking for an excuse to shoot a black man. Okay, so the original Candyman did have some of these themes, and that set it apart from its contemporaries. But in the 2021 version, without any nuance whatsoever, the tired preachiness is unbearable, making it easy to conclude that Nye DaCosta is racist and benefiting greatly from affirmative action. Somehow grossing $74 million on a $25 million budget gets you the next big MCU film, which will surely be heavy-handed with social commentary alienating audiences. Because entertainment and airtight scripts, that's for evil white men. I still don't understand the rules to Candyman. You look in a mirror, say his name five times, and it summons him to kill you, so then who knows that works because they would have died. And besides, sometimes you can say his name and that summons him to kill other people for you? I give Candyman 2021 one and a half out of four stars. Thanks for checking out Blacktober. Come back for more same time tomorrow night. Let your friends know on the gram. Subscribe for more and ring the bell. Bam.